Well, Andy, that was a typical derby day. Lots to talk about. Your reflection on tonight's 3-2 victory. Oh, well, I thought we was uh, starting off a little bit slow. I thought we was a little bit um, off the pace at the beginning and their energy was good. Um, they, they didn't start like a team that's down the bottom. Fair play to them, you know. And a credit to their manager and their staff who's, uh, who's got them really working hard. Um, but we knew that they they tire and they uh, later on in the game all their goals conceded right at the end so we kind of had that in our heads but then we kind of made a bit of hard work of it just after half time um, but then we, you know we do we do best don't we I mean if I was a Bromley fan tonight I would be absolutely buzzing watching that team week in week out we're, we're not the best team we're not technically the best we're, we're, we're we try to be the best but let's be honest we're not one of the top teams but I'm telling you, I will be hard pressed for anyone to say how much heart we've got and how much desire we've got to get the result. I, I think we'd be top of the league if that was uh, if the points were given for that. And I'm so proud of the, of the boys in there today. Excellent, right to the end. Topsy turvy game, very different to Saturday, which was completely in control for the whole game tonight. It's like you said, it's all about the heart and desire to, to pull away from it, despite a scrappy period on, on a few occasions. Yeah, every game's going to be every game's going to be different. No, no two games are going to be the same. You know. Uh, every club's got their agenda of what they're trying to do. We, we've got our agenda of what we're trying to do. Um, Maidstone and Yeovil, they've got their agendas. And, and it'll be the same for other teams, you know, that are around us, playing teams, you know, that are fighting for their life. So there's a lot of points still to play for. Um, but we ain't got to worry about being asked to the boys in there. Don't worry about looking at the table results tonight. You've got to go again, sadly. Uh, you know, we've got seven cup finals now. Um, and that's what we've got to keep doing, just to keep stroking off the games and see where it leaves us at the end. Um, but again, I must say, I am so proud of that bunch of boys in there. Unbelievable. Waited a while for a last minute winner. Feels good to get one, doesn't it? Yeah, we, we haven't had many of those, have we? Um, and we've been a bit unlucky, I think, uh, in games where, we've, where we probably should have had a last minute winner and we didn't quite get it. Um, but credit, credit to these boys. I mean, <clears throat> down to 10 men throwing everything on the line. They kept coming over to me saying, we've got to go for it, we've got to go for it, Gaffer. Um, and, and they did, they had it in their heads. They knew what had to be done and uh, they executed it. And uh, brilliant, absolutely delighted. And you talk about the heart, we've spoken about that already, but it was even more so, like you say, being down to 10 men and really being up against it. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it, it was tough, but we, I think that's, uh, someone said to me in there, that's the third game we've had 10 men and we managed to get a result. Um, that tells you everything about your, about your group of players. Um, so uh, yeah, I couldn't be I couldn't be any more happier. Two goals for Louis Dennis, including the last minute winner. He's someone that's really enjoying his football at the minute. Listen, Louis 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 one of those players, and he you know you got to love him, uh, and he needs love. But um, he's great. He, he, he's, he's sometimes a bit too hard on himself and too, too harsh on himself. And, and I want him to enjoy his football and, and loosen up a little bit. And he seems like he's doing that. Um, yeah, I'm delighted for Louis. I, 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 honestly, I can't say it. We were really good for him tonight. And, and credit to them, you know, they, they, they made it really hard for us. And, uh, you know, that I can't believe they're down the bottom. I have to be honest with you, I cannot believe that. 421 fans in the away end. Um, I saw you showing your appreciation during and after the game and all the players as well. It was brilliant to see. Well, weirdly enough, the message in the meeting was, this is a derby fixture. Um, and at every club up and down the country, whatever derby is, you want to win it. Um, and when I pulled in the car park, the, the, the nice car park attendant said, well, we haven't beat you in 21 years. I thought, here we go. That could be uh, gone tonight. That's sort of when someone says that, but not these boys, they ain't giving up no record. Uh, and our fans were brilliant, weren't they? I mean, right to the end. And it's nice. I think um, they enjoy us, obviously, giving it everything, every game. That's what every fan wants, and that's what they've got. Thank you for your time. Thank you.